Good evening. Is this on? <coughs> Is this on? Yeah. No, it ain't. Good evening. I can't hear it. You're not. It says Chris. that it's on. She's, she's not coming through. Why am I not coming through? The green light's on. Just got to say it louder. Good evening. There you go. Can you hear me? Good evening. And welcome to the Waterloo City Council's Finance Committee. Can we start with roll call, please? Mr. Jacobs? Here. Mr. Morrissey? Here. Mrs. Juin? Here. Need a motion to approve the agenda and minutes, please? Motion to approve the agenda and the, agenda and the minutes mm -hmm. from January 22nd, 2019, as proposed. Second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Would somebody take the travel request, please? Okay, travel requests are as follows. The first is for nine uh, WFR Waterloo Fire Rescue, I believe, lieutenants. Is that correct, yeah. Chief Treeler? Uh, uh, for a Blue Card Incident Commander Certification Program online, one year subscription access, amount not to exceed uh, $3,465. Uh, next is Sergeant Erie or Sergeant Erie and Investigator Gergen for the International Law Enforcement Educators and Trainers Association Training Conference in St. Louis, Missouri, March 18th through 23rd of this year with amount not to exceed $1,515. Next is Sarah Kempen, Stormwater Specialist, to go to the Iowa Stormwater Education Program, Iowa Certified Installer of Pollution Prevention Practices, Waterloo, Iowa, February 7th, 2019, amount not to exceed $150. Next is Rudy Jones, our Community Development Director for the 2019 Washington, D.C. Coalition Trip in Washington, D.C., April 24th to May 1st, amount not to exceed $1,920. Next is Keith Kaspari, our Director of Aviation for the Spring 2019 meeting of the Iowa Public Airports Association in Sioux City, Iowa, April 16th, 18th of this year, amount not to exceed $400. And last is Joe Ryder for the Drone Codes Test FFA, Hawkeye Community College, December 7th, amount not to exceed $150. Second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Would someone else take the pre-authorizations, please? Madam Chairperson, bless you. Yes, sir. Pre-authorizations okay. to expend over $1,000. Airport, $1,000 plus $30. Shipping handling uh, for urea for use on runways in winter weather. Culture and arts, $2,500. C consultant and exhibition rental fee for drawing stories with Ed Emberly exhibition. Culture and Arts, $1,800, two-year maintenance agreement for Beam Interactive Floor Exhibition System at the Youth Pavilion. Garage, $3,455.48 to repair the telescope cylinder. Housing Authority, $2,673. Replacement motor for water heater at Ridgeway Towers. Leisure Services, $21,830. 50 trees to be supplied and planted at Hope Martin Park. Leisure services, $19,525. 50 trees to be supplied and planted at Miriams Park and Prairie Grove Park. MIS department, $12,768.86 for two Dell expansion shells to provide additional storage for backup and recovery. MIS department, $12,042.64 for additional 10 terabit license for backup and recovery. Police department, $1,150. One office chair and two sit to stand desk. And lastly, sewer department, $2,706.16 for the purchase of the OHAS AAX224 analytical balance scale. Second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Make a motion to approve refund request in the amount of $20,189 and 40 cents for sanitary sewer fees paid on a vacant building located at 2532 Crossroads Roads Boulevard as a result of a water leak. Second. Discussion? Madam Chairperson, can we get an overview on that item, please? 
Yes. Jamie or I have a little bit. Michelle Wiener, Chief Financial Officer. Um, really, it came to the clerk's office, but the region's bank branch out at Crossroads has been vacant since 2015 sometime. And I think maybe people probably just weren't watching. Their bills started getting paid by a real estate agency, and I don't think they were watching the amount. But they finally realized that there was a leak. The waterworks went out and repaired it. Um, or I shouldn't say that. They told them there was a leak in regions repaired it. I think the leak repairs only cost $1,600, but the leak, um, it was underground. The waterworks verified it was not going in the sanitary sewer, although I imagine some of it probably did end up there. But um, in the past, when we have had a leak like that, that you that people have been able to verify didn't go into the sanitary, we have refunded fees. It's never been this high of an amount, but it's just an unusual situation. Do we normally not have to pay that fee on vacant buildings? Is that the issue, the fact that it's Well, vacant normally or? if it's vacant, it just doesn't use much, so the fee is minimal. Okay. I mean, but typically, it, is what and this, this bank branch, they were able to look at the history and show that it wasn't using more than the minimum even when it was occupied because it's just, you know, got... So did they adjust in. it to just make up for the leak they still yes. had to pay the base fee that Correct. they had been paying yep okay adjusted it to the minimum so yeah okay. that's not even the whole thing but okay yeah so and it's this, for about three years so that's another reason it's such a high amount okay does that answer your question mr jacobs okay any other discussion all in favor say aye aye opposed motion carries okay make a motion to um except as in the accounts payable the bills payment section dated january 28 2019 in the amount of one million seventy nine dollars seventy six no one million seventy nine thousand seventy six dollars and forty six cents to receive place on file and forward to the full council second discussion all in favor say aye aye opposed motion carries motion to adjourn second Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, okay, we are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>